We haven't seen Carson now. The last two years he was injured for the playoffs with a knee and a back, uh, back respectively and then gets knocked down the first few plays with a concussion. What does this say about Wentz as a franchise quarterback? Not a damn thing. Uh, this has nothing to do with it. If it were a different kind of injury, that would be different. Nobody is immune from potential concussions, particularly on a play like that. I am not calling Jadavion Clowney a dirty player. I want to be very, very clear about that. But I'll be damned if that wasn't a dirty play. That was a dirty play. I mean, when you see this guy, now you could, and I don't understand how the officials didn't flag uh, Jadavion Clowney. I thought he should have been ejected from the game. Yeah, that's targeting. You know what? His head, if you look at his body, his head, he, that is targeting his head. The man is sliding, and that's what you did. You hit him in the back of the head and smashed his head. And I got this, listen, I got this right here from an Eagles source, a source that works for the Eagles organization. This is minutes. This is like literally a quarter after this happened. This is during the game. Carson's concussion is really bad. He can't remember anything that happened. Oh. When he went into the medical tent, he was literally swaying. I got that from an Eagles yeah. source, okay? Yeah. There is no way on earth that Davion Clowney should not have been ejected from that game. As far as I'm concerned, there should be a stiff fine coming his way. Suspension. Again, I'm not calling – or suspension. I'm not calling him a dirty player. I've never seen him do anything before. But that play yesterday, Max, was what it was. It was a dirty play. I want to go on the record by saying there should have been obviously a penalty – and an immediate ejection after that targeting, 100%, I agree with you. Again, I, 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 I'm not even going to repeat everything you said. I agree with you about that play. Is it fair now to question Wentz's durability? Not at all. Yes, it is. And I will tell you why. First of all, I'm not questioning his toughness. Toughness and durability are two different things. I saw Wentz on one leg. I was at that game in L.A., I saw him go out and complete a couple passes when he should have been in a hospital. Wentz is a very tough guy, and I'm not questioning his toughness. I can think of him as a tough guy. But toughness and durability are different things. I see prize fighters, right? Really tough, but their face falls apart. They just don't, they don't have resistance to cuts or whatever it is, right? Brett Favre played 150 years, and Eli played 149, and they never missed a snap. In spite of, you know, turf coming out of their helmet, getting turned sideways, they should have been broken in half. But they were not only tough, but also durable. The fact that this was a freak thing and it knocked him out, and what are you going to do? Sure. Yes, I get it. He still hasn't won a playoff game. His team has won playoff games, and they've been in playoff games. His team has won a Super Bowl, and they made another run. But he hasn't been available. And the fact that one year it's one part of his leg, and another it's another part of his leg, and now it's a head injury. We have to – I'm not saying it's anything about the way he slid or slid or didn't slide or anything like that. He is a very tough guy who's not a durable guy. And the proof in the pudding is the Eagles in three consecutive years have been in the playoffs. They've won many playoff games, but never with Carson Wentz. It's just those are the facts, people. That, I mean, I, that would be fair, a fair point if we weren't talking about issues of the head. Now, you're a boxing guy. I love boxing as well. That's, that's equivalent to a rabbit punch. And I played in this league for 11 years. I played on some of the, the best defenses and the nastiest defenses. We know the easy button spots in which you get players up out of there. He targeted him in the back of the head. It's hard to hit a target that's almost on the ground with the crown of your helmet if you're not trying to do it intentionally. If that would have been Vontez Burflick, we'd have been calling for him to be kicked out of the league again. Right, it, it, you, you just because you don't have a history it of it doesn't Slow mean that it's. I'm not calling him a dirty I agree player. With that. Look this at that. is hundred percent right a there. dirty play. Crown yep. of the helm. It right is there. hard. Yep. Wow. We're taught as defenders to hit what you see. This is what the rule is there for. Right. For this play. And he hit him in the back of the helmet, and then, and then it got intensified when the front of his helmet hit. You know, Carson Wentz, I think, is a great quarterback. He's a quarterback that's proven that he can win. You can win with. You know, sometimes you get in the league and just fluke things happen to you. You're trying to do too much. But that is out of his control. It's one thing to have a ligament, uh, a, a bone, a joint. You can say he's got salt. He needs to drink milk. Mm -hmm. But to talk about his head because somebody hit him in the back of the head or fouled him. I'm not talking about that. I'm just stating the facts. Right, but, 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 years, but no playoffs. Right, but what got him out of the game is the fact that he got hit in the back of the head. But, but, but the, what got him out of the game before is a leg. And another time, it's another leg. Like, you know, I, I'm not but, saying but it's But Bart's saying so, head is different Marcus, than before, injuries Before we go body. to Marcus, before we go to Marcus, and just answer this quickly because we got to go to Marcus. If you were watching a boxing match and somebody got knocked out, right, and you know their jaw is just susceptible to getting knocked out, but then they turn their back and a dude punches them in the right. back of the head. 
Would you still judge them the same way? I, I would say this. I've seen Evander Holyfield fouled six ways to Sunday, but Holyfield didn't go out like that. I mean, yeah. some guys well, are physically saw physically 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 Hold up, hold up. But that's a different subject. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, that's right. That, okay, that's one time. That's not, but right. I'm not saying, like, let's not get this twisted. Don't get it bent. I'm not saying it's Carson Wentz's fault yeah. or that he's not tough. Exactly. I'm talking about the way he's constructed yep. physically. Yep. I 100% I understand what you're saying, Max. I, I see exactly how you're saying that. And, and you could question it in that value, and I understand your point. I think sometimes when we start, when, when we have this job and we're we talking, we don't – Bart brought something to my attention earlier. Like, you convinced me. That was a dirty hit. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.